Want to speak real Finnish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at finnishpod101.com. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. We've found that the best way to learn a language is to speak it from day one. And the best way to start speaking is to learn phrases that you'll use in real conversations. Today, we'll learn conversational phrases about occupations. After watching this video, you'll be able to talk about your job and ask what somebody does for a living. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real life situations, click the link in the description to download your occupation PDF cheat sheet for free. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Mitä sinä teet työksesi? Minä olen taiteilija. Listen to it again, now with the English translation. Mitä sinä teet työksesi? What do you do? Minä olen taiteilija. I'm an artist. First of all, you need to learn how to say, What do you do? That's Mitä sinä teet työksesi? Listen to it again. Mitä sinä teet työksesi? Mitä sinä teet työksesi? This Finnish sentence literally translates into what do you do as a job, but it means what do you do in English. Now, how do you answer this question? This is the pattern you'll need. Minä olen your occupation. I'm a, an, your occupation. For example, I'm an artist. Mi, na, o, len, tai, te, li, ja. Minä olen taiteilija. Here are a few more professions you can use with the same pattern. Police officer. Poliisi. Poliisi. Teacher. Opettaja. Opettaja. Doctor. Lääkäri. Lääkäri. Engineer. Insinööri. Insinööri. Now, listen to some examples. Mitä sinä teet työksesi? Minä olen opettaja. Mitä sinä teet työksesi? Minä olen lääkäri. Mitä sinä teet työksesi? Minä olen insinööri. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, what do you do? Mitä sinä teet työksesi? Imagine you're a doctor. Do you remember how to say doctor? Lääkäri. Lääkäri. Say, I'm a doctor. Minä olen lääkäri. Now answer the question saying that you are a doctor. Mitä sinä teet työksesi? Minä olen lääkäri. Now, imagine you're a teacher. Do you remember how to say teacher? Opettaja. Opettaja. Say I'm a teacher. Minä 
Minä olen opettaja. Now, answer the question saying that you are a teacher. Mitä sinä teet työksesi? Minä olen opettaja. Now, imagine you're an engineer. Do you remember how to say engineer? Insinööri. Insinööri. Say, I'm an engineer. Minä olen insinööri. Now, answer the question saying that you are an engineer. Mitä sinä teet työksesi? Minä olen insinööri. Most people who learn a foreign language learn it so that they can one day have real-life conversations with native speakers. When you start out learning and crack open your first textbook or listen to your first podcast, having a real conversation can feel like a fantasy. When everything about a language feels new, it can be overwhelming. But this couldn't be further from the truth. While it does take a significant amount of time and effort to become fluent, having a conversation might not be as far off as you think. In this video, we'll look at three ways you can boost your conversational skills and start talking to native speakers. Number one, find native speakers and practice with them. It's unlikely you live near a big group of native speakers to practice with. If you happen to be in a major or international city, your chances may be better. Check and see if your city has a general language exchange. Chances are there could be a native speaker there who is also trying to learn another language. Practicing in person with a native speaker is probably the most interesting option for honing your speaking skills. But if you can't find anyone where you live, the next best option is to look online. Luckily for language learners, the past 10 years or so have seen an explosion in online language exchange sites. On these websites, you can search for someone who is a native speaker of your target language and is also learning your native language. The idea behind a language exchange is that you communicate with them via video or text chat, and half of the time, they help you practice your target language, and for the other half, you help them practice theirs. Practicing via an online language exchange is a highly effective way to practice your conversational skills. Number two, work on pronunciation. Pronunciation is often an overlooked skill when it comes to learning a foreign language. Most people think of a good foreign accent as a luxury rather than a necessity. But what most people don't talk about is how having a good accent boosts your listening and comprehension skills. If you can hear a sound from a foreign language and know how to make it yourself, then you're more likely to understand native speakers when they talk at normal speed, and you're also more likely to remember any new words or phrases you come across. Having a good accent means that the language no longer sounds foreign. Instead, it sounds familiar, maybe even natural. So how do you go about perfecting your accent? The best way is to break down the language into its individual sounds. Make note of any sounds that are the same or similar to your native language and of those that are different. Of the sounds that are different, spend your time practicing the ones that you find the hardest to say correctly. After you're comfortable with the individual sounds, you can start linking together words and phrases. This is where accent practice starts to get really fun and interesting. Get your hands on some native speaker audio from a TV show, song, or podcast. Play the audio back and listen closely a few times. Take note of how words blend together in speech. Then, do your best to imitate what you hear, trying to match the speaker's emphasis and intonation. Our language learning program's playback feature is perfect for this. Record yourself and compare it to the original recording. Rinse and repeat until you're comfortable with the audio selection, and then move on to something more difficult. This is how you can break through the accent barrier and really start to make the language your own. Number three, learn phrases, not just individual words. Learning grammar and in individual words is great, but it's not the only approach you should take if you want to speak fluently. In addition to your regular grammar and vocabulary, try learning whole phrases, even if you aren't totally sure how they work grammatically. Learn phrases that are specific to your needs. It's a good idea to learn phrases that are grouped around a certain setting or subject, such as simple greetings or introductions, questions for getting to know someone, or traveling comfortably. You can even learn filler phrases, which you can use so that you have something to say when, well, you don't know what to say. 
Learning phrases like this will help you become conversational faster. You may not understand what you're saying literally, but as long as you know the general meaning behind the phrase and know when to use it, you'll be able to talk like a native. Eventually, your knowledge of grammar and vocabulary should catch up with the phrases you know. Learning a new language should feel like an adventure. There will be plateaus and periods in your learning where it feels like you're hitting a wall, but being able to speak with native speakers and have real conversations will help you combat language fatigue. After all, talking to someone face-to-face -face in a foreign language is one of the main reasons we start learning in the first place. And for even more ways to gain conversation skills, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey everyone, Alicia here. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. We've found that the best way to learn a language is to speak it from day one. And the best way to start speaking is to learn phrases that you'll use in real conversations. In this lesson, we'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, how's your mother? After watching this video, you'll be able to talk about well-being and ask how someone is doing. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real life situations, click the link in the description to download your Conversation About Family Well-Being PDF cheat sheet for free. Now let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Kuinka äitisi voi? Hän voi hyvin. Once more with the English translation. Kuinka äitisi voi? How's your mother? Hän voi hyvin. She's fine. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, how's your mother? That's... Kuinka äitisi voi? Listen to it again. Kuinka äitisi voi? Kuinka äitisi voi? This Finnish sentence literally means, how is your mother doing? But it translates as, how is your mother in English? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is, Han voi. State of well-being. But it translates as, she is state of well-being in English. For example, she's fine. Han voi hyvin. Hän voi hyvin. Here are a few expressions related to well-being that you can use with this pattern. Great. Upeasti. Upeasti. Fine. Hyvin. Hyvin. So-so. Niin ja näin. Niin ja näin. Not good. Ei kovin hyvin. Ei kovin hyvin. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Kuinka äitisi voi? Hän voi upeasti. Kuinka äitisi voi? Hän voi niin ja näin. Kuinka äitisi voi? Hän ei voi kovin hyvin. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, how's your mother? Kuinka äitisi voi? Imagine she's great. Do you remember how to say great? Upeasti. Upeasti. Say, she's great. Hän voi upeasti. 
Now, answer the question saying she's great. Kuinka äitisi voi? Hän voi upeasti. Now imagine she's so-so. Do you remember how to say so-so? Niin ja näin. Niin ja näin. Say, she's so-so. Hän voi niin ja näin. Now, answer the question saying she's so-so. Kuinka äitisi voi? Hän voi niin ja näin. Now imagine she's not good. Do you remember how to say not good? Ei kovin hyvin. Ei kovin hyvin. Say, she's not good. Hän ei voi kovin hyvin. Now, answer the question saying she's not good. Kuinka äitisi voi? Hän ei voi kovin hyvin. You've studied for a while and are ready to talk to people and practice what you've learned. But where do you start? Starting a conversation in a new language can seem a bit intimidating. How do you just jump into it? In this video, we'll look at five ways to start conversations. Number one, introduce yourself in your target language. This is usually one of the first things you learn when you start studying a new language. And sometimes starting a conversation or continuing one is as simple as introducing yourself. Number two, talking about the weather. This is a universal talking point. People talk about the weather all over the world. And just saying, it's really nice today is enough to start a conversation. A great way to practice your weather conversation skills is to check out our can-do lesson pathway. This series of lessons teaches you how to talk about the weather in your target language. Number three, give compliments. Compliments are a great way to start a conversation. You can compliment something about your conversation partner's city, country, or something specific to them personally. Hey, your bag is super cute, or that ice cream looks delicious. These kinds of compliments can lead to further conversation about what you complimented. In this case, it could be fashion or a local restaurant. This is a great way to make quick connections with people. Number four, ask for help. For example, you can ask for directions, ask about prices, or request recommendations for restaurants or shopping spots and let the conversation go from there. People are usually happy to lend a helping hand to tourists who are visiting their city. Number five, learn phrases for transactions. This can include getting a room at a hotel or telling a taxi driver where to go. When you're traveling overseas, you'll need to talk to other people in your target language. And while this might be a bit scary at first, you'll find that the people you meet are just happy that you're trying to communicate with them. So get started talking in your target language now. For even more tips on how to start conversations, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey everyone, Alicia here. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. We've found that the best way to learn a language is to speak it from day one. And the best way to start speaking is to learn phrases that you'll use in real conversations. In this lesson, we'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, what's the matter? After watching this video, you'll be able to make complaints and ask someone else if they're having any issues. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real life situations, click the link in the description to download your Making Complaints PDF cheat sheet for free. Now let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Mikä hätänä? Toimisto on kuuma. Once more with the English translation. Mikä hätänä? 
What's the matter? Toimisto on kuuma. The office is hot. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, what's the matter? That's... Mikä hätänä? Listen to it again. Mikä hätänä? Mikä hätänä? This Finnish sentence literally translates into, what's the distress? But it means, what's the matter? In English. Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is Toimisto on Adjective The office is adjective. For example, the office is hot. Toimisto on kuuma. Toimisto on kuuma. Here are a few more examples you can use with the same pattern to make complaints. Hot. Kuuma. Kuuma. Cold. Kylmä. Kylmä. Noisy. Meluisa. Meluisa. Dirty. Likainen. Likainen. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Mikä hätänä? Toimisto on kylmä. Mikä hätänä? Toimisto on meluisa. Mikä hätänä? Toimisto on likainen. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, what's the matter? Mikä hätänä? Imagine the office is cold. Do you remember how to say cold? Kylmä. Kylmä. Say, the office is cold. Toimisto on kylmä. Now answer the question saying the office is cold. Mikä hätänä? Toimisto on kylmä. Now imagine the office is noisy. Do you remember how to say noisy? Meluisa. Meluisa. Say the office is noisy. Toimisto on meluisa. Now, answer the question saying the office is noisy. Mikä hätänä? Toimisto on meluisa. Now imagine the office is dirty. Do you remember how to say dirty? Likainen. Likainen. Say, the office is dirty. Toimisto on likainen. Now answer the question, saying the office is dirty. Mikä hätänä? Toimisto. On likainen. Want to speak real Finnish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at finnishpod101.com. Want to speak your target language with confidence and impress native speakers? 
When learning to speak a new language, you have lots of things to think about, including grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation. Because you're thinking of all of these things and trying to speak, it can be difficult to communicate with confidence, especially in the beginning. This is why it's helpful to make confidence building exercises part of your language learning process. In this video, you'll learn seven ways to boost your confidence. One, read out loud. This might seem pretty basic, but it's a great way to practice speaking. Reading aloud lets you practice speaking without having to think about grammar or things to talk about. Reading out loud lets you focus on your pronunciation and the rhythm of the language. It can help you learn to speak more smoothly and quickly without even thinking about it. If you're using our lessons, read the dialogue out loud as you listen. You can read along with the dialogue tool, the lesson notes, or the transcript. Two, read like a child. This might sound strange, but think about children learning to read. They go slow and sound everything out. Maybe it takes two or three tries before they read a new word smoothly, and a few more tries before they can read it at a natural pace. This example applies to language learning too. If you find a complex sentence in something you're reading, read it slowly at first, then speed up. With practice, you'll be able to say it easily. It might feel a bit silly to speak very slowly, but this kind of practice can help you identify tough sounds you might miss or say incorrectly when reading quickly. Three, use the dialogue breakdown tool. If you're using our site, this is a great tool to take advantage of. It breaks down lesson conversations into individual lines. You can listen to the audio for each line, learn what each line means, and can reread and review as much as you want. Four, use the voice recorder to record and compare yourself with native speakers. Just click on the microphone icon next to each line in the dialogue section. You can use this tool to perfect your pronunciation if you like, but this is also something you can use to work on speaking with confidence at native level speed. You'll find this tool in the dialogue section of all of our lessons. Five, repeat and review old lesson conversations. Reviewing what you've studied in the past is the best way to make sure you maintain what you've learned. Go back to older lessons, download the lesson dialogue tracks and re-listen to the conversations again and again. Or you can reread the dialogue lines from previous lessons until you've mastered them all. Six, shadow conversations. Repeat what you hear out loud. This tactic is important, but it can be tricky when you're doing a brand new lesson. If you're reviewing dialogues from lessons you've done know, it's super easy to do. Just listen to the dialogue and repeat what you hear. Shadowing means mimicking the speaker as soon as they speak, following their intonation and rhythms as closely as possible. Seven, send recordings to your Premium Plus teacher. If you wanna speak with confidence, there's no better confidence boost than feedback from a native speaker. And you get just that with a Premium Plus teacher. You can record yourself reciting a lesson dialogue or any dialogue of your own, and your teacher will give you specific tips on how to improve. From the tips your teacher gives you, choose at least one and practice, practice, practice. Being able to react quickly and with confidence in a conversation is typically not something you can do on your first try, but if you continue practicing, you'll gradually find yourself speaking with ease. And for even more ways to build your speaking confidence, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. We've found that the best way to learn a language is to speak it from day one. And the best way to start speaking is to learn phrases that you'll use in real conversations. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to ask and answer the question, how do you say this? After watching this video, you'll be able to ask someone how a word is pronounced. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real life situations, click the link in the description to download your How to Say Something PDF cheat sheet for free. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases.
Listen to the dialogue. Miten tämä sanotaan? Se on parkkipaikka. Once more with the English translation. Miten tämä sanotaan? How do you say this? Se on parkkipaikka. It's parking lot. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, how do you say this? That's... Miten tämä sanotaan? Listen to it again. Miten tämä sanotaan? Miten tämä sanotaan? This Finnish sentence literally translates into, how is this said? But it means, how do you say this in English? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is, Se on. Word. It's word. For example, it's parking lot. Se on parkkipaikka. Se on parkkipaikka. Here are a few useful words you can use with the same pattern. Parking lot. Parkkipaikka. Parkkipaikka. Giraffe. Kirahvi. Kirahvi. Travel. Matkustaminen. Matkustaminen. Invasion. Invasio. Invasio. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Miten tämä sanotaan? Se on kirahvi. Miten tämä sanotaan? Se on matkustaminen. Miten tämä sanotaan? Se on invaasio. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, how do you say this? Miten tämä sanotaan? Imagine it's the word giraffe. Do you remember how to say giraffe? Kirahvi. Kirahvi. Say, it's giraffe. Se on kirahvi. Now answer the question saying, it's giraffe. Miten tämä sanotaan? Se on kirahvi. Now imagine the word is travel. Do you remember how to say travel? Matkustaminen. Matkustaminen. Say, it's travel. Se on matkustaminen. Now, answer the question saying it's travel. Miten tämä sanotaan? Se on matkustaminen. Now imagine the word is invasion. Do you remember how to say invasion? Invasio. Invasio. Say, it's invasion. Se on invasio. Now answer the question saying, it's invasion. Miten tämä sanotaan? Se on invasio. Want to speak and understand more of your target language? If so, of course, you'll need to know more words and phrases than you do now. In this video, we'll cover five ways to master new words and phrases fast. Number one, use our free vocabulary list. 
This is a free library of vocabulary and phrase lessons for all kinds of situations. You can learn words and phrases for current events, holidays like Halloween and Thanksgiving, and useful topics like the top 10 ways to say hello, conversational phrases, and more. You'll learn phrases that you won't find in textbooks. If you want to learn extra fast, use the slideshow tool. Just tap or click on View Slideshow, then sit back and review the words and phrases. Find the vocabulary list in the vocabulary drop-down menu on the site. These vocabulary lists are free for all users. Number two, take the audio and video lessons. One of the best ways to learn new words is by hearing and using them in conversations. This is because it gives you the opportunity to understand how the words are actually used. In every lesson dialogue, you'll likely come across some words you don't know. But don't worry, because our teachers translate everything. When you hear the conversation again at the end of the lesson, you'll be familiar with the words you didn't know at first. Number three, learn with our 2000 most common words list. A quick question, how many words do you think you need for conversational fluency? 3000, 5000, it's actually not as many as you think. Language experts say you need about 1500 words to reach conversational fluency. With our 2,000 most common words list, you'll get access to key vocabulary words you need to boost your conversation skills. The words are broken down into simple categories, such as adjectives, nouns, verbs, food, drinks, numbers, months, and so on. So you can go category by category and focus on what you're most interested in first. With this tip, we're not talking about paper flashcards. We're talking about the smart flashcards that you can find in our premium study tools. This is an automatic system individualized for each member based on their study needs. First, you'll use the cards to check your knowledge. Then, according to your answers, the cards will be sorted according to which words you need more practice with. Words that you struggle with will be shown to you more and more. You'll see words that you know well less often. This system helps you study more efficiently. It displays the words you need to work on and knows when you should refresh your knowledge. This helps make sure you don't forget vocabulary. In every study session, these cards will help you refresh your memory on the words you learned last time and introduce new words. Number five, use the words. After you learn a new word, using it right away is crucial to remembering it. So when you're done with a lesson or a vocab list, here's something you can do. Leave a comment. Make up a sample sentence and post it in the comment section. Write it down in a notebook or shadow the word with a lessons dialogue. Our language learning program is full of tools that can help you speak more. Just pick one and get started. If you want to unlock all of these study tools, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. We've found that the best way to learn a language is to speak it from day one. And the best way to start speaking is to learn phrases that you'll use in real conversations. In this lesson, we'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, what's your favorite number? After watching this video, you'll be able to say many numbers and ask someone their favorite number. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real life situations, click the link in the description to download your Talking About Numbers PDF cheat sheet for free. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Mikä on lempinumerosi? Se on seitsemän. Once more with the English translation. Mikä on lempinumerosi? What's your favorite number? Se on seitsemän. It's seven. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, what's your favorite number? That's... Mikä on lempinumerosi? Listen to it again. Mikä on lempinumerosi? 
Mikä on lempinumerosi? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is... Se on... Number. It's number. For example, it's seven. Se on seitsemän. Se on seitsemän. Here are a few more numbers you can use with the same pattern. Seven. Seitsemän. Seitsemän. Two. Kaksi. Kaksi. Four. Neljä. Neljä. Nine. Yhdeksän. Yhdeksän. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Mikä on lempinumerosi? Se on kaksi. Mikä on lempinumerosi? Se on neljä. Mikä on lempinumerosi? Se on yhdeksän. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, what's your favorite number? Mikä on lempinumerosi? Imagine it's two. Do you remember how to say two? Kaksi. Kaksi. Say, it's two. Se on kaksi. Now answer the question saying, it's two. Mikä on lempinumerosi? Se on kaksi. Now imagine it's four. Do you remember how to say four? Neljä. Neljä. Say, it's four. Se on neljä. Now, answer the question by saying, it's four. Mikä on lempinumerosi? Se on neljä. Now, imagine it's nine. Do you remember how to say nine? Yhdeksän. Yhdeksän. Say, it's nine. Se on yhdeksän. Now, answer the question saying, it's nine. Mikä on lempinumerosi? Se on yhdeksän. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. We've found that the best way to learn a language is to speak it from day one. And the best way to start speaking is to learn phrases that you'll use in real conversations. In this lesson, we'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, what kind of movies do you like? After watching this video, you'll be able to talk about movies and ask other people about their favorite kinds of movies. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real life situations, click the link in the description to download your Talking About Movies and TV PDF cheat sheet for free. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Millaisista elokuvista sinä pidät? Pidän kauhusta. Once more with the English translation. 
Millaisista elokuvista sinä pidät? What kind of movies do you like? Pidän kauhusta. I like horror. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, what kind of movies do you like? That's... Millaisista elokuvista sinä pidät? Listen to it again. Millaisista elokuvista sinä pidät? Millaisista elokuvista sinä pidät? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is... Pidän. Type of movie. Sta. Sta. I like type of movie. For example, I like horror. Pidän kauhusta. Pidän kauhusta. Here are a few more kinds of movies you can use with the same pattern to talk about movies. Horror. Kauhu. Kauhu. Comedy. Komedia. Komedia. Fantasy. Fantasia. Fantasia. Romance. Romantiikka. Romantiikka. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Millaisista elokuvista sinä pidät? Pidän komediasta. Millaisista elokuvista sinä pidät? Pidän fantasiasta. Millaisista elokuvista sinä pidät? Pidän romantiikasta. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, what kind of movies do you like? Millaisista elokuvista sinä pidät? Imagine you like comedies. Do you remember how to say, comedy? Komedia. Komedia. Say, I like comedies. Pidän komediasta. Now answer the question saying that you like comedies. Millaisista elokuvista sinä pidät? Pidän komediasta. Now imagine that you like fantasy movies. Do you remember how to say fantasy? Fantasia. Fantasia. Say, I like fantasy movies. Pidän fantasiasta. Now, answer the question saying you like fantasy movies. Millaisista elokuvista sinä pidät? Pidän fantasiasta. Now imagine you like romantic movies. Do you remember how to say romantic? Romantiikka. Romantiikka. Say, I like romantic movies. Pidän romantiikasta. Now answer the question saying you like romantic movies. Millaisista elokuvista sinä pidät? Pidän romantiikasta. Want to speak real Finnish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at finnishpod101.com. When learning a new language, everyone should have an ultimate goal to work towards. Whether you want to be able to connect with a relative, easily order food while traveling, or go somewhere new, having an end goal for your learning can be very motivating. A popular but challenging goal is being able to speak like a native speaker. 
It's difficult to measure exactly when you reach this goal, and it's not something you can pick up using textbooks alone. So how do you work on making your speech more natural? That's what we're going to look at today. Here are three tips to help you practice talking like a native speaker. Number one, focus on vocabulary. If your goal is to speak like a native, you might be really focused on speaking quickly or using as many complex grammar patterns as possible. But in our native languages, we're not always trying to speak as fast as possible. And we use complex grammar patterns when necessary, not to show off. Vocabulary, however, is extremely important to expressing ourselves naturally. Your choice of words can reveal a lot about you and your understanding of the language. Most learners have had the experience of using a phrase book or a dictionary to find a word they want to use, trying the word in conversation, and getting a look of confusion from the native speaker. In some cases, although your word choice may be grammatically correct, the word may be inappropriate for the situation or totally unnatural. This is especially important in business and other formal situations, where the right level of formality and professionalism is key. Being able to understand nuances and vocabulary words can also help you understand relationships between people just by listening to the conversation. Try to listen to many different types of conversations. Listen to how people talk to their friends, their superiors, and in customer service situations. This will give you a better idea of how to talk to others naturally. In some languages, you can omit words from sentences or use more direct communication styles. It's important to be aware of these things so you can apply them yourself. Colloquialisms and slang are also commonly used in most languages. As this sort of vocabulary is always evolving, it can be difficult to keep up with the latest words. Talk with native speakers and consume media in your target language to make sure you pick up these kinds of expressions. Media is a great resource for your learning. Ultimately, knowing the appropriate vocabulary to use for each situation will really help you sound more knowledgeable. Number two, perfect your accent. With every language, there are unique pronunciation and intonation challenges. Some languages are tonal languages, and a change in pitch can completely change the meaning of a word. Then there's the fact that most countries have multiple dialects, and so people from one area of the country may sound different from those in another. So what is the best way to listen to a wide range of accents and different pronunciations? Video and audio resources are a great way to do this. YouTube is a perfect place to start because people from all kinds of different backgrounds upload videos to the platform. You can watch educational videos, daily life vlogs, cooking shows, a travel series, whatever interests you. Pay attention to the different ways people speak. Everyone is unique. And then practice speaking like them. This kind of practice can help you sound more natural. One note, please be aware of the type of resources you're using. For example, if you find a video where a speaker uses a rare dialect, it might not be a good idea to use that for your pronunciation practice, unless you have a special reason for studying a specific accent. As a general rule, it's best to try to search for practice resources that use a standard form of the language you're studying. Number three, copy what you hear. Do you remember how you learned to speak as a child? We rarely learned new words just listening to them or reading after we learned how. When we were little kids, we imitated the sounds we heard by repeating the sounds out loud. While you're talking to a friend, watching videos, or listening to audio in your target language, you can do this to try and replicate the way they speak. Doing this will help you work on mastering the flow of the language, your accent, intonation, and pronunciation. Of course, you might also pick up some new vocabulary this way. Make sure to repeat new words often. It's a great way to make sure you remember them. Try doing this using a number of different mediums and sources. That way, you'll be exposed to the diversity that the language offers and master the fundamentals of pronunciation. For example, you can watch and imitate several different YouTube videos and audio CDs, but try a few different sources, like different creators or different audio types, to make sure you experience a wide range of communication in your target language. If you're using our language learning program, you can even get your own teacher with Premium Plus. Your teacher can answer questions, give assignments, and even listen to your recordings and give you advice on pronunciation. Completing these kinds of lessons with a native teacher can really boost your confidence in your speaking skills. 
Becoming able to speak like a native is a popular goal for many people learning a new language. It feels great to be able to communicate smoothly, especially when the people you're talking to expect basic level sentences or broken communication. Try using the tips we've shared in this video to work on improving your speaking skills. Of course, it'll take time and persistence, but the reward will be more natural communication. And for even more tips on speaking, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. We've found that the best way to learn a language is to speak it from day one. And the best way to start speaking is to learn phrases that you'll use in real conversations. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, what are you doing during the holiday? After watching this video, you'll be able to talk about your holiday plans. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real-life situations, click the link in the description to download your National Holidays PDF Cheat Sheet for free. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Mitä teet juhannuksena? Aion mennä rannalle. Once more with the English translation. Mitä teet juhannuksena? What are you doing for midsummer? Aion mennä rannalle. I'm planning to go to the beach. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, What are you doing for midsummer? That's... Mitä teet juhannuksena? Midsummer marks the middle of the summer, a time when the sun doesn't set for a period of several days. Listen to it again. Mitä teet juhannuksena? Mitä teet juhannuksena? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is Aion plan. I'm planning to plan. For example, I'm planning to go to the beach. Aion mennä rannalle. Aion mennä rannalle. Here are a few more phrases you can use with the same pattern to talk about your plans. Go to the beach. Mennä rannalle. Mennä rannalle. Travel. Matkustaa. Matkustaa. Stay home. Pysyä kotona. Pysyä kotona. Go to the movies. Mennä elokuviin. Mennä elokuviin. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Mitä teet juhannuksena? Aion matkustaa. Mitä teet juhannuksena? Aion pysyä kotona. Mitä teet juhannuksena? Aion mennä elokuviin. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, what are you doing for midsummer? Mitä teet juhannuksena? Imagine you're planning to travel. Do you remember how to say travel? Matkustaa. Matkustaa. Say, I'm planning to travel. Aion matkustaa. Now, answer the question saying you're planning to travel. Mitä teet juhannuksena?
Aion matkusta. Now, imagine you're planning to stay home. Do you remember how to say stay home? Pysyä kotona. Pysyä kotona. Say, I'm planning to stay home. Aion pysyä kotona. Now answer the question saying you're planning to stay home. Mitä teet juhannuksena? Aion pysyä kotona. Now imagine you're planning to go to the movies. Do you remember how to say go to the movies? Mennä elokuviin. Mennä elokuviin. Say I'm planning to go to the movies. Aion mennä elokuviin. Now, answer the question saying you're planning to go to the movies. Mitä teet juhannuksena? Aion mennä elokuviin. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. We've found that the best way to learn a language is to speak it from day one. And the best way to start speaking is to learn phrases that you'll use in real conversations. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to use when talking on the phone. After watching this video, you'll be able to ask for someone on the phone and to put someone on hold. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real life situations, click the link in the description to download your Making a Phone Call PDF cheat sheet for free. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Hei, haluaisin puhua vastuuhenkilön kanssa. Selvä, odottakaa hetki. Once more with the English translation. Hei, haluaisin puhua vastuuhenkilön kanssa. Hello, I'd like to speak with the person in charge. Selvä. Odottakaa hetki. Okay, just a moment. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say hello on the phone. That's... Hey. Hey. Then, you'll need to learn how to say, I'd like to speak with person. The pattern is... Haluaisin puhua... Person. Kanssa. This Finnish sentence literally translates as... I'd want to speak persons with, but it means I'd like to speak with person. For example, hello, I'd like to speak with the person in charge. Hei, haluaisin puhua vastuuhenkilön kanssa. Hei, haluaisin puhua vastuuhenkilön kanssa. Now, how do you answer this question? Selvä, odottakaa hetki. Okay, just a moment. Listen to it again. Selvä, odottakaa hetki. Selvä, odottakaa hetki. This Finnish sentence literally translates as Okay, wait for a moment. But it means Okay, just a moment. Here are a few more phrases you can use with the same pattern to talk on the phone. The person in charge. Vastuuhenkilö. Vastuuhenkilö. A sales representative. Myyntiedustaja. Myyntiedustaja. The manager. Johtaja. Johtaja. Customer service. Asiakaspalvelu. Asiakaspalvelu. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Haluaisin puhua myyntiedustajan kanssa. Selvä, odottakaa hetki. 
Haluaisin puhua johtajan kanssa. Selvä. Odottakaa hetki. Haluaisin puhua asiakaspalvelun kanssa. Selvä. Odottakaa hetki. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, I'd like to speak with person? Haluaisin puhua person kanssa. And how do you answer it? Selvä. Odottakaa hetki. Imagine you want to talk to a sales representative. Do you remember how to say a sales representative? Myynti edustaja. Myynti edustaja. Say, I'd like to speak with a sales representative. Haluaisin puhua myyntiedustajan kanssa. Now say you want to talk to a sales representative and answer it. Haluaisin puhua myyntiedustajan kanssa. Selvä. Odottakaa hetki. Now, imagine you want to talk to the manager. Do you remember how to say the manager? Johtaja. Johtaja. Say, I'd like to speak with the manager. Haluaisin puhua johtajan kanssa. Now say you want to talk to the manager and answer it. Haluaisin puhua johtajan kanssa. Selvä. Odottakaa hetki. Now imagine you want to talk to customer service. Do you remember how to say customer service? Asiakaspalvelu. Asiakaspalvelu. Say, I'd like to speak with customer service. Haluaisin puhua asiakaspalvelun kanssa. Now say you want to talk to customer service and answer it. Haluaisin puhua asiakaspalvelun kanssa. Selvä. Odottakaa hetki. Want to finally start speaking in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top seven ways to practice speaking on your own with our lessons. Let's begin. Number one, shadowing. Shadowing is a proven learning technique where all you do is repeat what you hear in order to practice speaking. So access any audio or video lesson on the site and press the play button to start. Then as you listen or watch, just repeat the conversations or even easier, read along out loud with the dialogue section. The script is right there in front of you. With our lessons, you can master entire conversations just like that. Number two, read out loud. I just mentioned it, but reading out loud is another powerful tactic and deserves its own mention. With every lesson, you get written transcripts and translations. So as you play the lesson, read the dialogue out loud as you hear it. Why? By reading out loud, you're also practicing your speaking skills. You can do this with the lesson notes, the lesson transcript, or the dialogue tool. With the dialogue tool, you can listen to each line again and again, and repeat out loud until you master them all. Number three, speed up your reading to speed up your speaking. Being able to speak without thinking is a sign of language mastery. If you're talking to a native and can respond quickly, they'll assume that you're fairly fluent. How can you do this? When you read out loud, try increasing your speed a little bit every time. So start by reading with the dialogue tool. If you're like most learners, you'll read the first line slowly. That's because you're still getting used to the words, which is okay. Reread it. On your second try, you know most of the words and you'll read a little faster. Reread it again 
On your third try, you'll be even faster at a native speaker's speed. And being able to read these phrases out loud and fast will help you speak fast. Number four, record and compare yourself with native speakers. In order to sound like a native speaker, you must imitate native speakers. So here's how. Access the voice recorder, which is in the dialogue study tool in every lesson. Click on the microphone icon, listen to the native speaker's audio, and then record yourself. You can then compare the two recordings side by side and practice and try again and again until you perfect your pronunciation. Number five, get feedback from our Premium Plus teacher. If you're learning by yourself and don't have access to real teachers, then you can always get feedback from our Premium Plus teachers. With the My Teacher tool, you can record yourself speaking and send the audio file to the teacher. They'll review it and tell you what to improve and how. That's it. Number six, level up your speaking with Premium Plus assignments. With Premium Plus, you can also get assignments that cover reading, writing, listening, and even speaking from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number seven, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more lessons on speaking and conversations, visit our lesson library and under category, choose conversation. You'll get all of the pathways and lessons that are focused on speaking. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a language and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, my name is Paula. Hi, everybody. I'm Paula. Welcome to FinnishPod101.com's Suomea kolmessa minuutissa, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Finnish. In the last lesson, we learned how to thank people by saying kiitos. In this lesson, we learn some of the most common greetings used in Finland. Ready? Let's get started. The most used informal greeting is hey. Hey. Hey means hi or hello. We use it when we meet people, friends, relatives, and even people we don't know. We use this phrase in lesson one. Do you remember? Do you also remember what the formal way of greeting people is? Hyvää päivää. Hyvää päivää. Literally, hyvää päivää means good day. As a rule of thumb, we can use hyvää päivää only during the daytime, from midday until early evening. During the evening, we say hyvää ilta. Hyvää ilta. Ilta is Finnish for evening, so hyvää ilta means good evening. Hyvää päivää and hyvää ilta are used when we meet someone, but when we leave, we don't say these greetings again. Instead, when leaving in a formal situation, Finnish people say näkemiin. Näkemiin. Näkemiin means goodbye. In informal situations, you can just say hey hey. Hey hey. Finally, in Finnish we have an expression meaning see you soon, which can be either formal or informal. Nähdään pian. Nahdan pian. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Finnish. Let's review them all again. When greeting someone in an informal situation, hey. When greeting someone in a formal situation, hyvää päivää or hyvää ilta. When leaving in a formal situation, näkemiin. When leaving in an informal situation, hey hey. When leaving, no matter whether it's a formal or informal situation. Nahdan pian. It's easy, right? Now it's time for Paula's points. In formal situations, Finnish people commonly greet each other by shaking hands. But if we meet someone we are very friendly with, we hug each other. Don't be afraid to do it with your Finnish friends. It's normal. In the next lesson, we'll learn the meaning of the phrase Puhutko Englantia? Do you already know it? I'll tell you all about it in the next Suomea kolmessa minuutissa lesson. Nähdään pian! Hey, minun nimeni on Paula. Hi everybody, I'm Paula. 
Welcome to FinnishPod101.com's Suomea kolmessa minuutissa, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Finnish. In the last lesson, we learned how to talk about your plans. In this lesson, we are going to take a look at the verb olla, to be. We will also go through how to talk about your nationality. One of the first questions you might be asked in Finland is, Mistä sinä olet kotoisin? Where are you from? Mistä is the question, from where? And as you might remember from the earlier lessons, sinä is you. Olet is the conjugated form of the verb olla, to be. And kotoisin is another way to say from or be a native of. Altogether it's mistä sinä olet kotoisin. Mistä sinä olet kotoisin. There are a few different ways you can answer this question. You can simply start with minä olen. I am, and then add your nationality. For example, Mina olen amerikkalainen. I am American. Mina olen amerikkalainen. Just replace amerikkalainen with your own nationality. Here are a few more. I'm German is Mina olen saksalainen. I'm Italian is Mina olen italialainen. I'm Russian is Minä olen venäläinen. Here's another way you could answer. Start in the same way, minä olen, and then add the case sta to the end of the name of the country you're from. This would be the same as simply saying I'm from in English. For example, the word for France in Finnish is ranska. To say you are from France, say minä olen ranskasta. Here's another one. Australia in Finnish is simply Australia. To say you are from Australia, say Mina olen Australiasta. To keep the conversation going, you can ask your friend Enta Sina, which means how about you? Now it's time for Paula's points. There are some irregularities with conjugating the names of the countries. For example, if you would like to say I'm from Russia, instead of Mina olen Venäjästä, you would say Mina olen Venäjältä. Also, I'm from England would be Minä olen Englannista instead of Minä olen Englantista. This also applies to other countries ending with a lanti, such as Scotlandi, Scotland, and Islandi, Iceland. Now you can talk about your nationality and homeland in Finnish. In the next lesson, we will find out another usage for the verb olla. It is also used when talking about locations. So instead of saying where you are from, how would you say where you are now? We will get into the details in the next Suomea kolmessa minuutissa lesson. Nähdään pian. Today we're going to talk about four techniques to help you stop translating in your head and instead start thinking in your target language. This will allow you to have conversations with ease, read smoothly, and better understand native speakers. These are four methods to help you think in a new language. Number one, surround yourself with your target language. This way, you'll be completely immersed in the language. Without realizing it, you'll learn pronunciation, sentence structures, grammar, and new vocabulary. Play music in the background while you're cooking, or have a radio station on while you study. Just use one of our endless podcasts available to you. These are easy to listen to in the background while doing other things. Number two, learn through observation. This is how we all learned our native languages as kids. Words will develop their own meanings that relate better to your target language, rather than meanings that are translated directly. Number three, speak out loud to yourself. Even if you're a little embarrassed, it forces you to listen to how you speak. It makes it much easier to spot simple grammar mistakes. Number four, practice daily. If you practice everything for only one day, you won't retain the information you learned. The brain can realistically only focus for about 30 minutes. So studying a little every day allows you to absorb better. Follow these steps and have patience. You'll soon be able to achieve your language learning goals. Just make sure to remember these four methods. Sign up for your free lifetime account no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. And start learning more every day.
Everything is great. Kaikki on herkullista. Kaikki on herkullista. Excuse me, do you know where that is? Anteeksi, tiedätkö missä on? Anteeksi, tiedätkö missä on? Excuse me. Anteeksi. Anteeksi. Go straight ahead. Mene suoraan eteenpäin. Mene suoraan eteenpäin. Good afternoon. Hyvää iltapäivää. Hyvää iltapäivää. Good evening. Hyvää iltaa. Hyvää iltaa. Good morning. Hyvää huomenta. Hyvää huomenta. Good night. Hyvää yötä. Hyvää yötä. Goodbye. Hyvästi. Hyvästi. Happy birthday. Hyvää syntymäpäivää. Hyvää syntymäpäivää. Hello. Hey. Hey. Help. Apua. Apua. Hi. Hey. Hey. Hold on. Odota. Odota. How are you? Miten voit? Miten voit? How do I get to the? Kuinka pääsen? Kuinka pääsen? How do you do? Mitä kuuluu? Mitä kuuluu? How do you pronounce this? Kuinka lausut tämän? Kuinka lausut tämän? How have you been? Miten voit? Miten voit? How is it? Kuinka ken voi? Kuinka ken voi? How is your mother? Kuinka äitisi voi? Kuinka äitisi voi? How long will you stay? Kuinka kauan viivyt? Kuinka kauan viivyt? How many people are there in your family? Kuinka monta jäsentä kuuluu perheeseesi? Kuinka monta jäsentä kuuluu perheeseesi? How much is it to? Kuinka paljon maksaa? Kuinka paljon maksaa? How much is this? Paljonko tämä on? Paljonko tämä on? Näytät hyvältä tänään. You look great today. Now, this is definitely something you can tell the people you know, and it makes a person feel good. Uh, you can maybe add something to it, like you can say, kiva paita, which means nice shirt. And that's definitely something you can say to make a person feel good about themselves. Ankara. Strict. Opettaja on liian ankara. The teacher is too strict. Now, I don't think I've ever had a teacher who is too strict. I think it's good that your teacher push, pushes you to the limit. So, um, yeah. Better to be a little bit strict, right? <laughs> Teit hienoa työtä. You did a great job. 
Now, you can say this to your employees or your co-workers to set a really nice vibe at your workplace. And everyone wants to know that they, they're appreciated, so you don't have to be afraid to say it. You should actually say it more often. Juoksentelisinkohan? I wonder if I should run around aimlessly. Now, this is a good one, like a funny word. The basic word is juosta, which means to run. And then you add these additions to it, and then you come up with a whole other meaning for the word. Like a kid might ask, Juoksentelisinkohan tänään metsässä? It's just three words in Finnish, and in English it means, I wonder if I should run around aimlessly in the forest today. That's funny, right? Olet erittäin hyvä kokki. You're an excellent cook. I have a friend, and I cooked macaroni laatikko for him once. Uh, macaroni laatikko is like a, like a macaroni casserole with minced meat. It's like the simplest food on the planet. So that he com- complimented me on my macaroni laatikko, that's like, he must be really hungry. Lohikärme. Dragon. Sadussa on usein lohikärme. There's often a dragon in fairy tales. Now, do you ever wonder who came up with a specific word? I think lohikärme is one of those words that I would really like to know who invented it and why. Because in Finnish, the word lohikärme, uh, in the direct translation for it in English is salmon snake. And I don't think uh, a dragon resembles either a salmon or a snake, so I really don't know where that word came from. <laughs> ja sinä voitat. And you win. When I was little and my parents would go out of town, uh, they would bring these scratch tickets as a souvenir and my brother would always win something, or at least it felt like it, but I would never win, so I was pretty bummed about it. Maybe I should try and buy one of those now and see if I could win some money? Moi! Hey! Moi, or its other version, moikka, are used in spoken language, and you can't use them in like an official meeting or something, but if you're already familiar with someone, you can definitely say moi, or moikka. That's a casual word. And if you're leaving a room or a space, uh, you can say it twice in a row to say bye-bye, so that's moi moi. Toin sinulle jotain erityistä. I brought you something special. When I was 16 and I was moving out of town, my friends brought me this uh, CD, like a mixtape, that had uh, a lot of songs that we would uh, like to listen together. And I think that was a really, really nice gift. Uh, that was back in the beginning of the millennium, so CDs were a big thing. Onnellinen. Happy. Olen niin onnellinen. I'm so happy. One of the places that I feel really, really happy is my family's summer cottage. Uh, It's in the middle of a forest. Actually, it's in the middle of nowhere, basically. There is no running water, no electricity, uh, no cell phone reception. There's just this house and a river, a field, some forest and a sauna, of course. (laughs) We're in Finland, right? Uh, That is one of the places I really, really feel happy in. Paratiisi. Paradise. Tämä on kuin paratiisi. This is like paradise. There is a really popular folk song from the 70s by Rauli Petting Someriuki, which describes this um, love story in a country setting, like in the middle of the nature, and that song is called Paratiisi. So maybe that tells something about the Finnish set of mind. You should listen to it, it's a great song. Rakastaa. To love. Rakastan eläimiä. I love animals. I love my dog. She's weird. Uh, she's a Dalmatian, so uh, she doesn't have long hair. So maybe she's a little bit cold here in the Finland from time to time. So she should have a proper fur. But I have a coat for her. And she's a really nice dog. She never runs away, even though she's not in the leash. So she's a really good girl. Uskoa. To believe. Uskotko kohtaloon? Do you believe in fate? Uh, I have a niece, uh, she's five years old, and I told her that I can do magic. And she said to me, en usko sinua, which means I don't believe you. Well, <laughs> she's a smart girl. Vuorovesi. Tide. Vuorovesi nouse. The tide is rising. I don't live near the ocean, I just have lakes and rivers around me, so I never actually experienced the tide in a proper way. 
I should maybe pay more attention to it when I travel next time. Jäätelötöttörö. Ice cream cone. Kesän ensimmäinen jäätelötöttörö. The first ice cream cone of the summer. I remember when I was a kid, uh, I lived in this small village or town. Uh, every summer we would have this ice cream kiosk that would open up in the beginning of the summer. It's one of my fondest childhood memories that me and my friends would go out to that ice cream shop and we would buy ice cream cones. And it always ta tasted so much better than buying from the supermarket. I don't know why, but it did. Congratulations! Onneksi olkoon. Onneksi olkoon. Could I have your attention, please? Saisinko huomionne kiitos? Saisinko huomionne kiitos? Delicious. Herkullista. Herkullista. Do you need anything? Tarvitsetko jotain? Tarvitsetko jotain? Do you speak English? Puhutteko englantia? Puhutteko englantia? Do you understand? Ymmärrätkö sinä? Ymmärrätkö sinä? Does this bus go to? Meneekö tämä bussi? Meneekö tämä bussi? Don't do it. Älä tee sitä. Älä tee sitä. Don't mention it. Eipä kestä. Eipä kestä. Don't worry. Älä huolehdi. Älä huolehdi. Hi guys, and welcome to this new episode of FinnishPart101.com. My name is Mary, and I'm here to teach you some Finnish. Today we'll learn 10 phrases you always want to hear. So let's get started. Näytät hyvältä tänään. You look great today. Näytät hyvältä tänään. You look great today. Now, this is definitely something you can tell the people you know, and it makes a person feel good. Uh, you can maybe add something to it, like you can say, kiva paita, which means nice shirt. And that's definitely something you can say to make a person feel good about themselves. Kaipaan sinua. I miss you. Kaipaan sinua. I miss you. Now, you can say this to a friend or a family member or a loved one if you haven't seen someone in a long time. Uh, another way to say the exact same thing in Finnish is to say Minulla on ikävä sinua. Teit hienoa työtä. You did a great job. Teit hienoa työtä. You did a great job. Now, you can say this to your employees or your co-workers to set a really nice vibe at your workplace. And everyone wants to know that they're, they're appreciated, so you don't have to be afraid to say it. You should actually say it more often. Tulet saamaan bonuksen loppukuusta. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. Tulet saamaan bonuksen loppukuusta. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. Now, if you're a boss and you say this sentence combined with the previous sentence together, you'll definitely be the boss of the month. So you, so you can say, uh, Teit hienoa työtä. Tulet saamaan bonuksen loppukuusta. Olet erittäin hyvä kokki. You're an excellent cook. Olet erittäin hyvä kokki. You're an excellent cook. I have a friend and I cooked macaroni laatikko for him once. Uh, macaroni laatikko is like a, like a macaroni casserole with minced meat. It's like the simplest food on the planet. So that he com complimented me on my macaroni laatikko, that's like, he must be really hungry. Pidä tauko. Minä hoidan siivouksen tänään. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Pidä tauko. Minä hoidan siivouksen tänään. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Now, that would be nice to hear, right? Like somebody would clean up after you and you can just kick back and enjoy the day. That would be awesome. Ja sinä voitat. And you win. Ja sinä voitat. And you win. When I was little 
and my parents would go out of town. Uh, they would bring these scratch tickets as a souvenir and my brother would always win something or at least it felt like it but I would never win so I was pretty bummed about it. Maybe I should try and buy one of those now and see if I could win some money. Olit oikeassa. You were right. Olit oikeassa. You were right. I once saw this meme that said uh, in a marriage there's two people one is always right, and the other one is the husband. I'm not sure if that's a good joke. Is it? Maybe not. Toin sinulle jotain erityistä. I brought you something special. Toin sinulle jotain erityistä. I brought you something special. When I was 16 and I was moving out of town, my friends brought me this uh, CD, like a mixtape, that had uh, a lot of songs that we would uh, like to listen together. And I think that was a really, really nice gift. Uh, that was back in the beginning of the millennium, so CDs were a big thing. Budjetti on rajaton. The budget is unlimited. Budjetti on rajaton. The budget is unlimited. Unlimited budget? I've never experienced that. Have you? Maybe I should go and buy one of those scratch tickets to see if I would win something and then have an unlimited budget. So guys, thank you for watching this new episode on Finnish part 101 on 10 phrases you always want to hear. I hope you liked it. Have you complimented anyone lately? If you have, I would love to hear it. So please tell your story in the comment section below. And if you want to learn more, please like this video and subscribe to this channel and visit finnishpod101.com to learn more. And now it's time to say thank you and bye bye in Finnish. That's kiitos ja moi moi! In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say it. Let's start with the easiest one. Kiitos. Kiitos. Another way to say thank you is Paljon kiitoksia. Paljon kiitoksia. Finally, here is a third way to express your gratitude. Suur kiitokset. Suur kiitokset. Okay, let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. Kiitos. Kiitos. Paljon kiitoksia. Paljon kiitoksia. Suur kiitokset. Suur kiitokset. In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say it. Let's start with how to express your feelings to your loved one. Rakastan sinua. Rakastan sinua. Rakastan sinua. Or, if you want to explain those butterflies in your stomach, you can say... Olen ihastunut sinuun. Olen ihastunut sinuun. Olen ihastunut sinuun. And when you feel that I love you is not enough, you can say... Sanat eivät riitä kuvaamaan rakkauttani sinua kohtaan. Sanat eivät riitä kuvaamaan rakkauttani sinua kohtaan. Sanat eivät riitä kuvaamaan rakkauttani sinua kohtaan. We will be practicing shopping in Finland. Before we go, you need to know how to say, how much is this? Kuinka paljon tämä maksaa? Kuinka paljon tämä maksaa? Okay, are you ready to go shopping in Finland? Let's go! Imagine yourself in a shop in Finland. You find something you want to buy, and you want to ask how much it costs. Start by saying, anteeksi. Do you remember what that means? Excuse me. Anteeksi, kuinka paljon tämä maksaa? Anteeksi, 
kuinka paljon tämä maksaa. The clerk will tell you, se maksaa, it costs, or more simply, se on, it is, for example, se maksaa 25 euroa, or se on 25 euroa. What number is 25? It's 25. So these phrases mean it costs 25 euros. Let's see some more examples. You see a bag that you want to buy. A bag in Finnish is laukku. So how would you ask how much it costs? Anteeksi, kuinka paljon tämä laukku maksaa? Or a pair of shoes. This makes it slightly different because you have to use the plural form. A shoe would be kenkä, but shoes are kengät in the plural. So you would ask, anteeksi, kuinka paljon nämä kengät maksavat? Also remember that the plural of tämä is nämä, and maksa becomes maksavat when talking about more than one item. Now it's time for Paula's points. Credit and debit cards are very commonly used in Finland, and you can use them in almost all shops and restaurants. If you want to make sure, you can ask, Voinko maksaa kortilla? Can I pay with a card? Voinko maksaa kortilla? In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Finnish. So let's get started. We'll first see how Finnish people introduce themselves in an informal situation. Hey, minun nimeni on Paula. Hauska tutustua. Hi, I'm Paula. Nice to meet you. Hey, minun nimeni on Paula. Hauska tutustua. Let's go through this. Start by saying, hey, minun nimeni on. Then say your name. Hey, minun nimeni on Paula. Finally, say, hauska tutustua. Hey, minun nimeni on Paula. Hauska tutustua. And now let's see the same sentence in formal speech. Hyvää päivää. Minun nimeni on Paula Laamanen. Hauska tutustua. Good day. My name is Paula Laamanen. Nice to meet you. Hyvää päivää. Minun nimeni on Paula Laamanen. Hauska tutustua. So what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at these together. Hey has been substituted with the formal greeting Hyvää päivää. Finish for a good day. Minun nimeni on Paula has not been changed. In both cases, minun nimeni on means my name is. However, during a formal self-introduction, we also say our last name. So I said Paula Laamanen. Here you would say your full name. Finally, hauska tutustua is the same for both. This phrase means nice to meet you. One more time. The informal way to introduce yourself in Finnish is Hey, minun nimeni on Paula. Hauska tutustua. You can make it more formal by saying Hyvää päivää. Minun nimeni on Paula Laamanen. Hauska tutustua. Now it's time for Paula's points. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands and use Hauska tutustua after saying your name. If you're concerned about politeness, even hey is polite enough in the Finnish business world. In fact, if you speak too formally, people will think you sound unnatural. In Finland, simple is best. Rakastaa. To love. Rakastan eläimiä. I love animals. I love my dog. She's weird. Uh, she's a Dalmatian, so uh, she doesn't have long hair. So maybe she's a little bit cold here in the Finland from time to time. So she should have a proper fur. But I have a coat for her, and she's a really nice dog. She never runs away, even though she's not in the leash, so she's a really good girl. Uskoa. To believe. Uskotko kohtaloon? Do you believe in fate? Uh, I have a niece, uh, she's five years old, and I told her that I can do magic. And she said to me, en usko sinua, which means I don't believe you. Well, <laughs> she's a smart girl. Vuorovesi. Tide. Vuorovesi nousee. The tide is rising. I don't live near the ocean. I just have lakes and rivers around me. So I never actually experienced the tide in a proper way. I should maybe pay more attention to it when I travel next time. Jäätelötöttere. Ice cream cone. Kesän ensimmäinen jäätelötöttere. 
the first ice cream cone of the summer. I remember when I was a kid, uh, I lived in this small village or town. Uh, every summer we would have this ice cream kiosk that would open up in the beginning of the summer. It's one of my fondest childhood memories that me and my friends would go out to that ice cream shop and we would buy ice cream cones. And it always ta tasted so much better than buying from the supermarket. I don't know why, but it did. Congratulations! Onneksi olkoon. Onneksi olkoon. Could I have your attention, please? Saisinko huomionne kiitos? Saisinko huomionne kiitos? Delicious. Herkullista. Herkullista. Do you need anything? Tarvitsetko jotain? Tarvitsetko jotain? Do you speak English? Puhutteko englantia? Puhutteko englantia? Do you understand? Ymmärrätkö sinä? Ymmärrätkö sinä? Does this bus go to? Meneekö tämä bussi? Meneekö tämä bussi? Don't do it. Älä tee sitä. Älä tee sitä. Don't mention it. Eipä kestä. Eipä kestä. Don't worry. Älä huolehdi. Älä huolehdi. Päivää. Minä olen Helen. Hyvää päivää ja tervetuloa. Minä olen Liisa. Hauska tutustua. Hauska tutustua. Saisinko maitoa? Ole hyvä. Kiitos. Otatko salaattia? Kyllä, kiitos. Onko tuo omenaa? Ei, se on päärynää. Everything is great. Kaikki on herkullista. Kaikki on herkullista. Excuse me, do you know where that is? Anteeksi, tiedätkö missä on? Anteeksi, tiedätkö missä on? Excuse me. Anteeksi. Anteeksi. Go straight ahead. Mene suoraan eteenpäin. Mene suoraan eteenpäin. Good afternoon. Hyvää iltapäivää. Hyvää iltapäivää. Good evening. Hyvää iltaa. Hyvää iltaa. Good morning. Hyvää huomenta. Hyvää huomenta. Good night. Hyvää yötä. Hyvää yötä. Goodbye. Hyvästi. Hyvästi. Happy birthday. Hyvää syntymäpäivää. Hyvää syntymäpäivää. Hello. Hey. Hey. Help. Apua. Apua. Hi. Hey. Hey. Hold on. Odota. Odota. How are you? Miten voit? Miten voit? 
How do I get to the... Kuinka pääsen? Kuinka pääsen? How do you do? Mitä kuuluu? Mitä kuuluu? How do you pronounce this? Kuinka lausut tämän? Kuinka lausut tämän? How have you been? Miten voit? Miten voit? How is it? Kuinka ken voi? Kuinka ken voi? How is your mother? Kuinka äitisi voi? Kuinka äitisi voi? How long will you stay? Kuinka kauan viivyt? Kuinka kauan viivyt? How many people are there in your family? Kuinka monta jäsentä kuuluu perheeseesi? Kuinka monta jäsentä kuuluu perheeseesi? How much is it to? Kuinka paljon maksaa? Kuinka paljon maksaa? How much is this? Paljonko tämä on? Paljonko tämä on? You are at a train station platform where you are waiting for your train. There's a small pamphlet sitting on a display case about a new train that will be introduced next year. You decide to pick up and read the pamphlet. What is the main feature and the biggest advantage of the new train? What is the main feature and the biggest advantage of the new train? The main feature of the train is that it is propelled by magnetism. The biggest advantage is that it can reach twice the speeds of any train that runs on tracks. Junan pääominaisuus on, että se liikkuu magnetismin voimalla. You just got off the train at the closest station to your friend's new house, where he's invited you to a party. Which exit should you use to get to your friend's new house? Which exit should you use to get to your friend's new house? Although the east exit would have normally been the closest exit, it's currently under construction, so you should take the south exit instead. Käytä eteläistä uloskäyntiä. 
You are at a train station where you're heading to the lost and found office to retrieve a lost passport. According to an email you received from the train company, what things do you need to provide to the staff? What things do you need to provide to the staff? The email says that you need to present proof of identification and to pay a small fee. Henkilöllisyys todistus. Pieni maksu. You are exiting a train station when a big notice posted on the bulletin board catches your attention. The notice highlights permanent changes made to the train schedule. How will trains on Fridays be affected? How will trains on Fridays be affected? Trains on Fridays will now start at 6 a.m. and will end at 1 a.m. Lähtevät kello kuudelta ja päättyvät kello yhdeltä. Suddenly you get bad abdominal pain and decide to buy some medicine. What are the instructions regarding the recommended dosage on the label? What are the instructions regarding the recommended dosage on the label? The label says that daily dosage, two pills per day after eating, Vuorokausi annos. Kaksi pilleriä päivässä syömisen jälkeen. Your condition is not getting better and you decide to go to the nearby clinic. You receive a medical report. What is the diagnosis?
You receive a medical report. What is the diagnosis? The diagnosis is food poisoning caused by contaminated food. Saastuneen ruuan aiheuttama ruokamyrkytys. You just bought a few items from a local shop online. What information does the website say about the delivery date? What information does the website say about the delivery date? The website says that Delivery dates differ depending on the delivery method, but all dates should be calculated from the next working day. Toimitusajat vaihtelevat toimitustavasta riippuen, mutta kaikki päivämäärät lasketaan seuraavasta työpäivästä alkaen. The day after ordering an item online, you receive an email notification. How can you track your package? How can you track your package? The email says that you can track your package on this website by logging into your account, and after logging in, click on your order history and enter the order number found in this email. Voit seurata pakettisi kulkua tällä verkkosivulla kirjautumalla sisään tilillesi. Kun olet kirjautunut sisään, klikkaa tilaushistoriaasi ja syötä tilausnumero, jonka löydät tästä sähköpostista. You're reading the instructions of an electronic device you've just bought. What should you do in case of overheating?
What should you do in case of overheating? The manual says that if you notice the surface overheating, unplug the device immediately and allow it to cool down before handling again. Jos huomaat pinnan ylikuumenemisen, irrota laite välittömästi ja anna sen jäähtyä ennen kuin käsittelet sitä uudelleen. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.